for me, the future of robotics is about humans being able to interact with the robots. It's about the robots being able to coexist with humans. You can't disentangle AI and people. Um, and I think the future of robotics is about them being embedded in every aspect of life. We create robots that can see, hear and understand the world around them and then act on that. In the 90s, the centre was born, the Centre for Vision, Speech and Signal Processing at the University of Surrey. We're currently at 25 academics, um, 180 people. CS rankings rate CVSSP as number one in computer vision in the UK. More recently, we've established the Surrey Institute for People-Centred AI that allows us to kind of take this core technology into all applications. The Robot Lab is one of the fundamental building blocks of CVSSP. And what we do is we take everything that CVSSP does in the kind of realm of AI and we deploy it on robots. We make it actually exist in the real world. The focus of the Robot Lab is on our core expertise in machine learning, perception, autonomous systems, and we apply that very broadly. Reinforcement learning, localization, perception, and there's also a wide variety of platforms that it's happening on. We take everything that happens in the AI world and everything that happens in the robotics world and kind of combine it in this kind of holistic fashion. We have professors in the field of artificial intelligence and robotics. This is very important for the future. We are at the forefront pushing the research around perception, at the same time with the focus of improving people's lives. I don't think you get better than that. My current work on reflexive robotics is about trying to unlock the full potential of new types of visual sensors called event cameras. All the pixels are actually modelled a little bit like neurons in the brain and this gives it lots of advantages like there's no motion blur, there's very high dynamic range, very low latency and it's really exciting for things like obstacle avoidance, machine perception. We want to try and come up with new types of AI that operate directly on the output data from the event camera without trying to go through images. My main research interest is around this idea of combining AI and robotics in a meaningful way. And I want them to, to interact and for the AI to understand what the robot can do. That lets us then deploy it on robots that actually understand the world that they live in and it creates robots that are more autonomous. The work I've most recently been doing effectively takes an image and translates it into a bird's eye view map. This map that's been created then actually helps the self-driving vehicle navigate and do all of its path planning. My latest project is about subgoals. We give the agent a near future subgoal waypoint to gradually guide the agent in an easier and faster learning manner. A lot of autonomous driving research relies on a lot of sensors around the car. We want to reduce the reliance on those other sensors so that we can drive autonomously just using computer vision. On the one side I'm interested in the robotics, the autonomous vehicles. On the other side I do an awful lot of non-verbal communication, so sign, gesture, historically lip reading. And actually this idea of accessibility brings both of these strands together. So you could imagine a universal headset that could help with navigation for people who are partially sighted, and then we can have um, systems that translate between spoken language and sign language and vice versa. We're using Spot as an assistive technology, essentially creating a robotic guide dog. Charities offer guide dogs, but the waiting time is, is so long all the perception work that's going to be into in terms of localization, navigation, can be demonstrated on spot. We're trying to design robots that are ethical, that work with people, that make humans' lives easier. And that's why we sit at the center of the Institute for People-Centered AI that allows CVSSP and the Robot Lab to reach out to other areas of science. We have uh, fellows which are academics spread across the entire university. I'm now collaborating with people in the vet school in animal behaviour and monitoring. Um, we've got uh, projects with uh, tourism and in fact one of the PEPPA robots we're, we're currently doing um, some usability studies. Welcome to the Lakeside Restaurant and Coffee Shop. We also collaborate a lot with industry, uh, so we have collaborations with agritech companies and we have collaborations with autonomous vehicles companies. I work at Parkopedia, uh, the world leader in digital parking services. The AVP project was to identify the obstacles to full deployment of automated valet parking through a technology demonstrator. 
we couldn't have achieved our objectives without uh, Oscar and Rich because localization was a really, really important part of this project and we were very lucky to have them. I think that the Robot Lab really creates robotics leaders of the future. And, and when they leave and they go into industry, we're finding that they are getting uh, positions at some of the top companies in the world. I'm an applied scientist at WAVE, where we develop autonomous vehicle technology using end-to-end -end deep learning. I was a PhD student at the Robot Lab between 2016 and 2021. I managed to get several publications to go to conferences and meet lots of people within both industry and academia. Now I'm working in industry, applying the skills that I learned at the Robot Lab in the real world. The Robot Lab is growing very rapidly. Over the last few years, it's roughly tripled in size and it's now up to about 20 or 30 members in the team. The future of robotics is people-centric and I think that's why the Robotics Lab you know, and CVSSP and the Surrey Institute for People-Centred AI are key in allowing us to take this technology and address more areas. Everything that we do in, in the Robot Lab is geared towards that goal of human-centred AI, human-centred robotics and enabling people to have better lives.